as a human, you kind of always give a motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. If the Lord could have took the wheel, bitch, he needed to take that wheel right there. Right then and motherfucking there because I almost pissed on my... Pissed the fuck? No, I almost shitted on myself. I almost had a bowel movement. <laughs> Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like story time, <laughs> of course, but this is not going to be just a story time, I mean it's just story time, but at the same time it's kind of like bittersweet in a way, we're closing a chapter that we've finally been able to close, well kind of sort of because like... <laughs> girl this year i have no idea what stories i'm gonna have to have for y'all because this year isn't over with and this year is a big year <laughs> um actually within the next six weeks is big we'll get to that towards in the video but um yeah this is really just the main part of what happened and pretty much the ending of the main juice because like i said she's incarcerated she's been incarcerated for going on two years now and it's not much ha that has been happening over these two years because she's my mom talking about has been incarcerated so that being said before we get into this video if you have not already subscribed yet like what are you doing <laughs> and also don't forget like your girl has her own cosmetic line like I'm, I'm gonna keep mentioning that so like let's just get used to it after this video of course go ahead and visit angelictouchcos.com i'll put all the description i'll put all the links in the description that way y'all can know where to go and also i have a coupon code so not only are y'all gonna get ten dollars off but also i'm offering free shipping like ten dollars off plus free shipping you can't beat that and it's not gonna be there for long get y'all products y'all gloss because like y'all this gloss is just everything not only am i talking about the gloss y'all but i'm pretty sure if you watch me you probably watch her and i'm gonna just i'm gonna just let y'all see for y'all self okay let me just show y'all real quick fluffy gloss from angelic cosmetics this is better than Too Faced. I will not lie to you. And it's ten dollars. This is my favorite lip gloss. I'm going to get three more this weekend. You Too Faced will never get none of my little coins no more. Oh, that's T. Like out here shouting out my gloss and all. Like, come on now. I was just like, wow. It was a promo for me because I did send her my products or whatever to promote, but she did another one, and I'm just like, wow. Like that meant a lot so not only do y'all need to go check out the website but also go check out her channel because like her story times are fucking funny as fuck y'all think my shit be funny and crazy like her shit be crazy like for real for real so go check out her channel and tell her miss angelique tv sent you let's go ahead and get into this fucking video okay so last video we talked about um the conversation i was having with the little boy or whatever and a lot of, well, I'm not even going to say a lot. It was one particular person who commented and was just like, you told him you wasn't going to tell, but you telling us. Like, look, I ain't trying to hear none of that. At the end of the day, that's my mama, and I was going to do what I needed to do for my mom. And if y'all wouldn't do the same, I totally understand. But he was a stranger to me. I don't give a fuck. He was a stranger. I don't care. I needed to get the information that I felt like I needed at the time. I didn't really accomplish what I really wanted to accomplish because he kind of... Yeah, if y'all watched the last video, you know what the fuck happened. So, yeah. Like, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. I did what I had to do for mama. I would do it today. I would do it tomorrow. I would have done it yesterday. And I'm going to do it next year if I need to. So, that's, it just is what it is. Like, the situation done, over with. It's also public record. So, I'm not trying to hear none of that shit at all. Okay? So, anyways. Last story time, we left off after me telling y'all how my mom also caught COVID. And this was in July of last year, 2020. So, um, yeah, she's still in jail, y'all, by the way. <laughs> still in jail. Um, she caught COVID. It was, it was kind of scary in a way because it's like, okay, she's in jail. They're not, like, really treating her. She told me that they gave her a oh, Z-Pack. That's what it is. Something that you get for the flu. Like, something. Yeah, so they gave her that and some Tylenol. But that was about it. And to be quite frank, like, you can't really treat COVID um like i guess do the shit just go away bitch like how the fuck if you catch it like how the fuck if you can't treat it how the shit go away 
Huh. I'm gonna have to look that up. But anyways, like, I'm just saying, like, it was real super, super scary because I didn't know how she was gonna, like, react to it. She has always dealt with high blood pressure, so I know she was kind of considered high risk or whatever, so it was tough, and I was like, ugh, Jesus. But just let her make it through this, like, that's it and she wasn't having no bad symptoms or anything like that don't get me wrong she did have a cough and I, I heard it and you know it wasn't that bad but it was a covid cough bitch it wasn't a regular cough it wasn't a flu cough it was a covid cough so it was real to me and so yeah it was like damn but she got over it thank god um she recovered from it she's vaccinated now and yeah that was that was a trip okay during the time that she was in jail or she is still in jail but during this time she would often write me letters like especially in the beginning she hasn't been writing me lately anymore because she's been transferred to a jail where like she can email me and stuff like that so we don't write letters no more but she used to at the other jail that she was she would write me and i i started reading the letters like in the beginning i used to literally like look forward to reading her letters like really i can remember like can't wait to open like i check the mail and then grab my glass of wine i would read it was, used to be like a book because my mom used to tell me so much like so many different details that i didn't know like let me know separately in the comment section if y'all want me to like sit down and read some of these letters with y'all like a lot of these letters i have not opened like most of them i have not opened so and that's for so some reasons that we're going to get into but um if y'all want me to read some of these letters with y'all like i will um like i'm not gonna read nothing like too too personal but I mean, bitch, we've been personal. I don't know how personal this could get, but um, I would love to read some shit. So as long as she ain't saying nothing that could incriminate her or something like that, then I'll read it. And um, if y'all want to see that, so let me know in the comment section. I'm not really a letter writer, but at one point I did write her. And I, I wrote her probably maybe like twice. I could honestly say probably like twice, no more than. Um, but I wrote her one time and it was like some hey type shit. And I sent her some pictures of the other kids. And then the second time, I decided to um, to write her this letter and I had this letter written for the longest I just kept it and I didn't send it to her to probably like a month or so afterwards I don't know why I held it so long maybe because I I was afraid to send it to her I just wanted to know the truth about her and Rough Rider and if you are a new subscriber and you have no idea who Rough Rider is that is the name of the character that well she yeah she's a character i guess whatever um but that is the character's name that i um called my mom's girlfriend well she was supposed to be her friend but they ended up being in a full-blown 10-year lesbian relationship that no one knew about until i got well i, I kind of knew about it but she never admitted it until later on yeah go back to the story like the story time um i asked mom if she was gay type shit like yeah go to those story times and you'll be able to catch up but um yeah i asked her i was just like in the letter like how did it all begin like did you just become gay like <laughs> all of a sudden like what made you revert to women after being with men you know what i'm saying um and then she was married at the time as well so um i wanted to know what happened and she wrote me back y'all she legit wrote me back and i have yet to open that letter <laughs> i have yet to open that letter y'all um i know exactly where it is like it's, it might take me some digging or whatever because there's so many letters that I haven't opened up but it's in there it's one of them unopened ass letters so I haven't opened it up and I don't know why I, it's not that I'm afraid of the truth because like it's something I've been wanting to know like forever but I don't know I feel like I'm avoiding a lot of things that we're gonna get into we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into it but I don't know I just haven't open it up so yeah if y'all want me to read that as well let me know in the comment section y'all y'all know what to do have you subscribed yet time goes by and my mom will like every now and then ask about brandon for whatever reason and i would be like no i haven't heard from him which come to find out like i because i don't really check my messages on facebook and if i do like it's gonna take me forever to actually go to my mailbox to reply because i don't know i'm just weird like that um it was a message from him actually but i didn't know until one day i was going down my my little messages and i saw it and i was like hmm he messaged me he was like hey um how's your mom so I, if I, i'll find it and post it a screenshot or whatever one of these days i actually did talk to my mom and i was like yeah he did hit me up which i really shouldn't have told her because i feel like that's a trigger like anybody from her past is, is a trigger in my opinion to her like i don't want her to have any type of feelings to want anybody like 
I don't know. I just didn't want none of that. So, um, I, I don't know. I shouldn't have told her, but I did. And, I mean, it wasn't really a big deal. She was just like, oh, okay. And she was just like, um, tell him to write me. And I never did. And then Alan had the nerve to fucking message me later down the line. It's like, all of these people from the past, like, even still people from Beaumont called me from mama whenever she was, you know, doing a little thing or whatever she was doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, like, they were still even calling me at this point. I'm just like, bro, like, y'all need to chill. Like, I should have changed my number, but, like, eventually the call stopped. My mom also started seeing a psychologist and a doctor and stuff like that in jail, which was good. It was super, super good. Um, I feel like she could get better treatment outside of jail, of course, but at least she's getting some type of treatment. Now, she did tell me that she was officially diagnosed with bipolar depression. Um, in jail so I was just like okay kind of already knew but it was good to kind of have that on paper because prior to nobody like had any type of real diagnosis for my mom like it was always just uh what we think based off of her action type of thing um and the cops the law enforcement they wasn't taking our word for it whenever we try always try to get them involved so I was just good that it was actually on paper because she needs this like I don't know what she's gonna need it for, but she's gonna need it for something. And I just know that she's gonna need it. So I'm just like, good, okay, now that she's diagnosed with it, they're gonna actually treat it. So they, my mom is literally on several different medications. I don't know how many different types of medications she's on, but I know she's taking several of them daily. Um, I remember her telling me she was, she took like 13 pills. I don't know, it's a lot. I don't know, I don't know what they're giving her, but it's a lot. Some of the things that she have told me that she's on, um, I've heard on like commercials and stuff like that so she's been on her medications since she's been in prison more time goes on and I, like I said I, we still have not heard anything back from the case like no lawyer no public defender no nobody is telling mama anything she's just sitting in jail just rotting away and just not hearing anything just I don't know I don't know she just she ain't hearing shit and we ain't hearing shit so one of these days, my mom was like, hey, I had talked to so-and-so. Don't remember who she said. She, well, probably she said talk to my public defender. That's probably who she was saying or who she was talking about. But whoever it was, she was talking to somebody. And she said that she pled guilty for the charge of, I forgot what she called the shit or what, what it was called, but I'll put it right there. But yeah, that charge, she pled guilty for it. And... I was a little bit confused because I thought like she was going to fight it like because she said they were going to you know do the tests like the um, STD tests all the type of shit supposedly you know supposedly don't still don't know to this day how true that is but this is still all up in my mind at this time because this is all like coming back up in my mind at this time as she's telling me this so I'm like okay and I wasn't going to go back and forth with her because I just knew like let go this is her life this, she she made that decision like it's like what am I gonna do to tell her like oh you I mean she didn't already sign the paperwork so it was done and over anyway so you know it wasn't no need to kind of go back and forth with her but I was just like okay you know like and then I started asking her like what are the conditions what are the terms and so she then began to say that she would have to serve two years so at this point we are like almost in a year of her being in jail if not past the year to be completely honest because she's been in there for a long as time and she was in there for a long as time before she even heard about anything so by the time that she found out her actual time she had already did like half of it or something so i was just like okay keep it pushing we're gonna get through this whatever she also said and you know i also have to register as a sex offender and I already knew that, like I said, in the back of my head, I already knew that it's something else that I already knew in the back of my mind. Because, like, how are you going to plead guilty to a s offense with a minor and not have to, you know, register? Like, that's just impossible in the United States of America. So, um, well, not impossible, bitch, because motherfuckers out here who need to be sex offenders ain't sex offenders. So, let's just not get into that part right now i was just like okay how long and i think she told me like 25 years if i'm not mistaken it was a large amount of years definitely 20 something and i'm thinking in my head like isn't that a forever thing but maybe it's not a forever thing maybe you don't have to register as a sex offender for the rest of your life but basically it is the rest of your life bitch because 25 years the fuck that's half your motherfucking life like depending on how long you're gonna live so yeah that's a long ass time regardless so um i was just like okay um, well, 
got to do what you got to do. Like, you know, you, you, you signed the paperwork. You already pled guilty. We just going to move past this and move past it or whatever. And still, I... In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to, to ask my mom at this point, like, did it actually happen? Like, did you did you sleep with the little boy? Like, I just literally wanted to ask her that straight up. But I didn't want to do that because, number one, she's on the jail phone. Even though, like, it don't matter. But still, like, she on the jail phone. Motherfuckers be talking and, like, I don't know. I don't trust that shit. So, I didn't want to say it like that on the phone. Neither did I want to say it in a letter because motherfuckers be reading the letters before they give it to the inmates. So... I was, and also, I was afraid as well. Like, another big reason, a part of it, was I was afraid. I was afraid of the truth, even though I kind of knew in the back of my mind what it could have been, because I already have gathered my thoughts that it could have been true. Like, I, I literally wrapped my mind around it a long time ago at this point, um, that it was true, because I was just like, I mean, I don't know what my mom was getting herself into. I know she was doing some type of drugs. At this point, I didn't know, like, the intensity of, of what type of drugs she was doing. But I did know that she was doing drugs. And I know, like, motherfuckers, you're doing drugs. And then you, you, you're mentally not there at the same, like, that shit don't mesh. So anything was capable in my mind about my mama. Like, my mama fought me. Like, me and my mama, like, we fought. I was not putting anything past her at all. Like, my mom at this point have done insane crazy things setting ant piles on fire in people's yard putting her shit on people's cars her dirty pads in people's driveway like my mom have done insane shit if you haven't keeping up with these stories girl you know not only is it embarrassing but it's just like oh my god like this is the only fucking parent that i have in the fucking world right now and she is this way like wow this is wow it's real fucked up and i'm on here like talking about it or whatever because like really it's therapy in a way bitch who else the fuck am i gonna talk to about it her life is ruined like she would never get any of the things that she had back unless she builds and even still it's not gonna be the same because she's a fucking sex offender now some more months passed by it was november december it was toward the end of the year um, i know that because i was super super pregnant i was pregnant as fuck <laughs> um and i was due in february and so i was on my way home from i think dropping off my stepchildren to the mom's house or something like that i get a call and i don't know who it is because i don't like to mess with my phone when i'm driving gabe was in the passenger seat and um i was like babe like who, who's that get my phone look at it see who it is so he tells me it's a 504 number and i'm like fuck so i look at it and i'm just like uh don't really know who it is but it's a 504 number 504 is new orleans so it might be something something about my mama family bitch i don't know somebody so i pick up the phone and i'm like hey hello and they just start greeting me with like my nickname and i'm so i'm like kind of like trying to see who the fuck know my nickname because this ain't no regular nickname this is a, a, a childhood nickname bitch and if you, you want to know out of curiosity my childhood nickname is doe like d-o-e doe like money doe bread mm -hmm. yeah don't ask me why so he's like hey doe i'm like hey and so once he, as he started talking i finally realized who it was and who the fuck was it? Mouth. Oh, Mouth. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Mouth is my mom's ex-husband. That's who I named in my story time because he had super, super bad breath, like forever, forever, like always had bad breath. Like I think he had like an infection type of bad breath. So yeah, that's why I call him Mouth. Um, Cause whenever he get in the fucking car, bitch, like the whole motherfucking car stank the fuck up because like his breath was just that bad. He opened up his mouth, bitch, everything is funky. Okay. So yeah, mouth called me and he was like, yeah, you know, I got a letter from your, from your mom and she was telling me that she's in jail and I'm just like, yeah, she's been in jail for so and so amount of time. Like, you know, I've been knowing about it. And he was like, oh, you, I thought, um, cause he was like literally telling me as if I didn't know about it. So I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, she's been in jail for um, a while now, I've been knowing. So I guess he assumed that I still wasn't talking to my mom because the last time we spoke, that was probably around the time that I had just got my restraining order on her. So yeah, maybe that's why he assumed like I didn't know anything, but I was like, yeah, like I've been talking to her or whatever, like I'm full aware of everything that's going on. And he was like, oh, so you know, I'm like, yeah, I know. So he was like, yeah, well, she asked me to put money on the books and 
you know, I'm gonna try to put money on it. You know, the little spiff niggas gotta give. Like, look, you ain't gotta spit game on me, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if you do or you don't. Like, what the fuck do you want, okay? Pretty much, he was just calling me to tell me that she wrote him. I was telling him a little bit of what my mama was telling me as to how she got into the predicament that she's in and stuff. And pretty much, I was telling him that it wasn't true and that, you know, the, the little boy's lying and basically everything that my mom is telling me, I'm telling him. And so he was like, oh, well, that's weird because, you know, the letter that she wrote me, she told me that she actually did it. And girl, let me tell you, if the Lord could have took the wheel, bitch, he needed to take that wheel right there. Right then and motherfucking there because I almost pissed on my piss. The fuck? No, I almost shit it on myself. I almost had a bowel movement because I'm just like, what do you mean she did it? And I already knew in the back of my mind what the fuck he meant. But it's like, as a human, you kind of always give a motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. And that's what the fuck I did. And I'm just like, what you mean she did it? Like, what you mean? And he was like, I, I don't know where the letter is right now. Um, I, I should have kept it or whatever. Because I really was getting ready to tell him to send me a picture of the letter. Because like, I wanted, y'all know me. Like, I need to know facts receipts but you know why would he lie about this especially being that he thought that i didn't even know about it so i couldn't really just say that he was fucking lying about it so i'm just like what do you mean like she told me that she didn't do it she told me that the lady or the, the mama she told me she was out to get her and that she was trying to conspire against her or something like that like what do you mean she said she did it because she this i'm getting a totally different story from you than i heard from her and so he goes on and, you know, he's telling me, well, yeah, that's what she said in the letter. I don't understand what your mama didn't got herself into, but this is crazy. And I'm like, I agree. The conversation wasn't that that long because, like, he don't give a fuck at the end of the day. He was just being real messy and nosy and thought he was finna spill some tea, spill some beans that a bitch didn't know. But uh, I knew about it. I've been knowing, cause why? Me and my mama was talking. Me and mama is talking. We 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 trying to. Well, I can't say we trying to build shit, cause we really ain't. Cause she in jail. Build what? Like where? Where are we gonna build? She's in jail. How? But we we doing something. We working on it. I don't know. Whatever it is, we just we we taking it a step at a time, bitch. Whatever. So um, I'm just like okay, you know, we end up getting off the phone, and I'm just. I already knew. Like it was it wasn't surprising, but it was surprising because it just like somebody is tell even though it's not coming from mama right now somebody is telling me something that i kind of knew but brush underneath the rug literally because i didn't want to face it like i'm just like no my mama my mama never would never know like never i called my grandma and i told my grandma about it and she was really really highly disturbed even though she kind of knew in the back of her mind like that it may have been true as well like, she was just like me just blinded and not really blinded but just trying to see a better picture just to not face the true pain that this is really truly causing i did not tell my mama that i talked to mouth because like mouth is yet another guy another person in her life that i feel like is a, a trigger like let's be honest mouth really is this i can't really say he's a start but he is one of the main reasons why she started going back and forth to jail so um like anybody from her past like i don't want anything that i, I don't want to even discuss it with my mama i don't want to talk like whenever my mom would bring up brandon like i barely even wanted to talk about him because i'm just like that's the past don't want to trigger her to going back into those ways of thinking or don't want to trigger her to just do nothing that she ain't supposed to do or nothing or think no way she ain't supposed to think bitch like i'm just trying to prevent anything at all costs at this point because i'm literally like tiptoeing around her because i want her to be so good so bad to the point where i will literally like not say certain things i will literally not do certain things just to make sure i don't trigger her and that's sometimes bad but then it's i don't know i don't know i just be like trying to just not go there with her anymore moving forward to recently bitch and then after this i'm gonna wrap it up <laughs> two months ago I'll, I'll say i was in the store and i was talking was talking to my mom like she gets free jail calls every friday so she'll be able to she calls me every week on the free calls so i don't really have to put too much money on the books which is good because i hate doing that shit i hate it but i i had to because i know it was my mom but um if i don't need to then i don't so she'll be calling me every friday 
And on this particular Friday, I was I had just got off of work, and whenever I get off from work, cause I get off of work at five now, cause I used to get off of work at eight. Bitch, I get off of work at five. I'll be at the store by five fifteen. At checkout line by five forty five cooking by 6 15 like i'll be trying to get this shit out the way that way i can sit my ass down record or do something like this yeah i'll be trying to do that shit i'm talking to her and i remember <laughs> it's crazy because i'm looking at the product or the aisle or the product that i was on the aisle to get as i speak because i got my snacks in my closet i record my closet so yeah girl i was on the aisle getting a little rice krispies and my mom was just talking like my mom would do these things or had these moments where she would just like just start talking or like rambling about random stuff y'all like literally and it a lot of times it would be about like different experiences that she may have forgotten to tell me about that she went through back in the day whenever she we weren't speaking or when she was out in the streets like a lot of it would be like her reminiscing or like just just reflecting on that type of shit and so um this particular time she brought up brandon again and she was like have brandon messaged you and i'm like no like he hasn't which he has not like honestly since the last time i told y'all we spoke like he hasn't messaged me which is good because the fuck um so i'm like no he hasn't messaged me or whatever and she was just like oh okay and she was like you know you want to know something dory and I'm like, what? You know, Brandon should have been charged with the same thing that I was charged with. Run that back. Like, what do you, what you, what you mean? Along behold, she says, Brandon and the little, the little girl, the little 16 year old girl, which is the sister of the brother that my mom was accused of sleeping with, she was fucking him. Her and Brandon was fucking. My mama already told me this little girl was a hoe. She grown now. I don't give a fuck. I just went on her Instagram and saw her posting older guys like hanging out in a little trailer house with older men. So that confirmed it. Like, okay, yeah, my mama's definitely not lying. But whenever my mama told me this, I was like, I fucking knew it. I knew it because it's just how it just so happened that you in a relationship with your boyfriend right y'all moved in with a, a, a family right y'all got put out y'all moved out together y'all still together like no conflict you go to jail for sleeping with the little boy brandon goes to jail too it so happened that he's just extradited like they don't charge him with anything like he's just extradited so why is it that my mom is the only one doing this and he just chilling like it's all gravy all good not doing nothing he just chilling in the back absolutely the fuck not so when she told me that i'm just like my heart kind of went a little bit towards my rectum a little bit you literally just told me that he slept with a minor at the time because she's grown now like i said i'm still listening to her and then she goes to tell me this is when i first initially actually found out about the drugs or the extent of the drugs that my mom was taking because like i said i didn't know about it until after the fact still an hour with the rice krispies bitch and at this point i didn't stop i didn't pause like you know how you lean over the basket like I'm literally leaned over in the basket because I think I was feeling sick too because I be nauseous all the time as well like I don't know. But my mom was just explaining to me on the phone that she wasn't in her right mind and that had it not been for the drugs that she was doing and being hanging out around Brandon because he was really heavily on the drugs which caused her to be heavily on whatever he was heavily on. The part that got me was when she said I would have never did what I did. That right there that's one thing I can say that she said word for word because that is what stuck to me because whenever she said that it was like boom fucking puzzle solved she fucking confessed them to two years later even though the signs were all in front of me even though i probably should have fucking asked her to be quite frank i probably should have fucking asked her but i didn't i don't know i was scared but y'all when she told me that my whole entire day was ruined like after i got off because the phone call wasn't wasn't that long because she only gets two free three minute phone calls if i'm not mistaken or five minutes some weird ass number like that it's it's not that many minutes at all i got off the phone with her because i had to like go back you know to my nose and stuff and try to continue my fucking grocery shopping but bitch like i've never like i'm not a public crier and thank god for the motherfucking mask bitch because girl was i crying in that bitch hell the motherfucking yes thankfully i was on the aisle by myself like i made sure i was on the rice crispy aisle by myself thank god for the mask because i'm like literally wiping my tears with the mask because i couldn't believe like i, I believed it <laughs> but i couldn't believe what she actually just told me like she literally just told me like had it not been for the drugs she wouldn't did what she did and she and after she said that of course she was um she said, like she got to take responsibility for her actions 
and or whatever and do her time and when she said that i'm just like wow it's to take responsibility for your actions for me because like now you are now you are you are confirming even much more that this actually occurred and although i didn't ask any questions like i didn't say like oh so you did actually sleep with him like i didn't want to say that because again we're on the jail phone like i'm i'm not doing that we're, we I don't know maybe we could have a sit down sit down with a one day in the future bitch but i don't know i wasn't gonna do all of that though it was nothing else for me to ask her to confirm what she said because i didn't ask her to say me to tell me any of those things like that came out of her mouth and like i said she would always do this random rambling on about things that happened back then and it just so happened that she actually rambled on and and said she fucking was on drugs heavily it fucking did it y'all i was so disgusted as well because i'm just like yo like my mom i don't know if anybody in the crowd out there you know anybody could relate but it's not a common thing you know i mean it's common because like sex offenders have kids too but i'm just saying like i haven't seen it like i've never known anybody to kind of to deal with anything similar to, to me so it was really just crazy because i'm just like how did she get herself into this situation <laughs> that day was ruined i i cried i was depressed like for a couple of days and uh, you know I, I bounced back but that's it really because now we're here and she's set to be out in october which is her birthday month i have no idea what we're gonna do i have a lot of other things i want to say as far as how i feel about it but i'm gonna make it in a separate video and also like probably maybe dig for that letter of me asking her like what happened with like as far as her lesbian relationship but i have no idea where we're gonna go from here i have no idea what's in store for the rest of this year it's so much pressure on me right now i stopped taking my medication like mentally like I i'm not on any medication well, I haven't been on any medication like I didn't want to depend on it I felt like it wasn't working either which is a bad thing if you feel like you need the shit take it don't follow my footsteps I have been maintaining my mental health like it's not bad like it was before but lately and I'm gonna be honest this is my first time like actually verbally saying this lately I've been feeling like my mental health has been going backwards the closer and closer and closer it gets to my mom's release date for a variety of reasons and i want to have a sit down and like talk to y'all about it because like i said this mental health shit is not a joke and i've been keeping an eye on it um like i'm not super super depressed or whatever to where i don't want to get out the bed like i'm still able to get up with go to work whatever thank god um but my anxiety has been on edge on 10 lately i've been super emotional and i don't like the feeling because it reminds me of how I felt whenever I was in that dark place whenever I couldn't get out the bed whenever I didn't want to eat whenever I didn't want to be bothered whenever I didn't want to go to work whenever I couldn't go to work like it reminds me so much of that and I don't want to go back to that so that being said we're gonna wrap this video up because I ain't trying to get too deep inside that right now because this video is long enough I think we gonna resume this as far as like an update because I'm gonna tell y'all like there's still a lot of other things like I want to touch on even though this is the end of this story right now <laughs> season two coming soon I guess because once she gets out y'all we got a whole nother set of problems <laughs> boy do we have a whole set of problems but pray for me for her most importantly let me know like what y'all thought about this whole entire thing did y'all really think her mama did it like like let me know did y'all think she did it like i did or didn't but did at the same time like did, what did y'all think let me know because i don't think a lot of y'all thought she did it <laughs> i don't think a lot of y'all did don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed because if you haven't like what the fuck is you really doing like this video because it really really helps me because y'all be y'all do be liking it but i want to see a little bit more likes so Let's try to get this video to 200 likes. I'll do a little giveaway. If you faded to the end of this video, you're a real nigga. And also follow me on all of my social medias. And I will see y'all in the next video. Toodles. Bye. And, and... Hello. I'm recording. Yes. They can't hear you. Mm-hmm. You gonna let me stick it in your ass? But...